guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new series on my channel a lot of you have been asking me for some low carb or lower carb recipes and i am here to fulfill your requests so we are going to be starting a low carb recipe series on my channel so i'm going to be giving you an all low carb recipe and then i'm going to give you a side that does have a starch in it that you could pair it with so if you're trying to keep the main part of your meal low carb or maybe you want to have the side dish with another meal during the day or maybe for your spouse so you'll see tonight that the side dish that i'm going to be making is potatoes and that's so that my husband can have that along with our low carb recipe so i'm really excited for this series I don't typically follow a low carb diet. I do try to eat a lot of protein, but it's just not sustainable for me. So I just don't see myself ever following an entirely low carb diet, but I wanna bring some low carb recipes to my channel. So we're gonna start tonight with some steak fajita roll-ups. So if you wanna see the very first episode in my new low carb series on my channel, then all you have to do is stay tuned. For tonight's low carb dinner, we're gonna be making steak fajita roll-ups. I'm really excited about this recipe. It sounds delicious. Now, if you wanted to add a starch to this meal, you could add some potatoes or some rice, but we're gonna go all low carb. I'm going to fry up some zucchini as well as a side dish. So let me show you what is in our steak fajita roll-ups. So first you're going to need some steak. Excuse my Christmas bags, they're left over clearly so this is petite sirloin so i have three smaller pieces of petite sirloin steak you're going to need some asparagus the smaller the spear the better so try not to get the big fat spears of asparagus a small red onion two bell peppers color is your choice taco sauce i'm going to go ahead and do this mild taco bell sauce and a package of fajita mix so let's get started on tonight's dinner. So to get started on tonight's dinner, we have quite a bit of cutting to do. So here is the leftover of the large zucchini. I'm gonna chop that up and fry that up in a pan as a side dish. We're gonna slice our onion, cut our two bell peppers into strips, cut the ends off of our asparagus, and then slice butterfly and pound out our petite sirloin. So let's get to cutting. Once you've cut your steak and butterflied it open, we are going to take a meat tenderizer, whatever you have on hand. I wrapped mine in saran wrap and we are just gonna roll it out until our steak is about double the size and really, really thin. And that's gonna make it a lot easier for us to make our roll up. So I'm gonna roll out all my pieces of steak and then we'll move on to the next step. Once you've pounded out your steak nice and thin, we're gonna go ahead and take our fajita seasoning mix and we are going to sprinkle it over all of the pieces of our steak and then we're going to cut our steak into two and a half inch by five inch sections and that's what's going to make our roll up so i'm going to kind of rub my fajita seasoning in flip it over season the back and then we'll go ahead and get our steak cut into the two and a half by five inch sections now we're gonna work on our vegetables. So in my pan, I've sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. I'm going to start with cooking my asparagus. So I'm just gonna place it here in my pan. We're just gonna let it cook long enough to get a little bit of a char on it. And we're gonna do the same thing with our red onions and our peppers. And I've got some plates here. I'm just gonna set it aside on the plate when it's done cooking. And then we'll be ready to assemble our steak fajita rolls. Once your veggies are all done, everything looks absolutely delicious. We are going to take our vegetables and we're going to layer them onto our pieces of steak, roll them up, 
and put a toothpick in. So let's get started. First, I'm going to put these lengthwise, so horizontal, across your piece of steak. And you're gonna do that with all of your veggies, your peppers, your asparagus, your onion, and you're just going to kind of layer them into the middle of your steak. Make sure your veggies are cooled off too. I should probably have said that as well. So once you get your veggies kind of layered in, then you're going to take your steak and this steak actually stretches pretty good and you're gonna roll it around your veggies, yum. And then we are gonna just close it up with a toothpick and look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? And then this is just gonna go back into a pan with some nonstick cooking spray, and we'll just cook it, the steak, all the way through. So I'm gonna roll up the rest, we'll get these in the pan, and I'll show you what they look like completed and ready to cook. And here are our steak fajita roll-ups, you guys. I am so excited, these look absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna get them on here, probably about a medium high heat, and we're just gonna let them sear until the steak is cooked through. And just go ahead and cook your steak to your liking, whether you like it really well done, or medium rare, whatever you prefer. So here are our steak fajita roll-ups, you guys. These look so incredibly good. I just drizzled a little bit of the Taco Bell mild sauce over the top of the steak fajita roll-ups. Just gives it that perfect fajita flavor. Each one of these roll-ups, so there's three here on my plate, are only two smart points. So this entire dinner is six points. Now again, you can add a side dish if you wanna do some potatoes, uh, corn, rice, whatever you wanna do. I am going to add some potato zucchini mixture to our plates as a side dish. So if you are gonna go strictly low carb, this is fabulous. So let me add on my side dish and I'll show you the completed dinner. So I went ahead and added on um, a little bit of potatoes and zucchini. So for the potatoes is two additional smart points. So again, if you only go low carb and eat the steak fajita roll-ups, it is six points or two smart points per roll-up. And then my potato mixture is two smart points. So my dinner is eight smart points total. Thank you for joining me on my new low carb WW series, the steak fajita roll ups. Absolutely delicious. So I hope that you enjoy this new series. Again, it's going to be periodic on my channel where I'm bringing you fantastic WW friendly low carb meals. So if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe so you don't miss a single video. Hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload thumbs up this one, comment down below. Let me know first what you thought of the steak fajita roll up recipe. And secondly, what do you think of this new low carb series? Is it something that you're excited for? And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.